Welcome back LHS, I'm Neely Hedo. Today is Tuesday, October 26th and we have club information, sports updates and more. This is your Blue Devil News. Seniors, your senior fee is $75 and is due by March 1st. You can pay at the bank or online. The deadline to apply for the Tennessee Promise Scholarship is next Monday and the FAFSA is now open. All college-bound seniors need to do this in order to receive any scholarship money, including Tennessee Promise and HOPE. Go to studentaid.gov. Sophomores and juniors, applications for Governor's School are now available. This is an excellent summer opportunity for high-achieving students in academics and the arts. Information and applications are found at tn.gov. Students, pick up your student IDs during lunch in the back of the cafeteria. The annual canned food drive will be November 1st through the 12th. More details to come. The FFA fruit sale has begun. If you have an agriculture class this semester or in the spring, be sure to stop by the Ag Department to pick up a packet. Teachers interested in ordering fruit or cheesecake can order at Order from an FFA member or by using the brochure in the mailroom. The order deadline is November 12th. National Honor Society induction ceremony will be after school on November 1st. We'll be inducting new members from this year and last. Also, members need to turn in their $20 dues by 1028 to Miss Corella. We'll be right back after these messages. Hey everybody, Corporate Peak here. I want to talk to you about Red Ribbon Week. Uh, Red Ribbon Week starts this week for London High School and the rest of the nation. We've got a lot of really cool programs coming, a lot of cool stuff that's going to be happening around the school this year. Uh, but to explain for those of you that didn't see my segment last year and what Red, Red Ribbon Week stands for, I have this cool video for you to watch, so check it out. We asked middle and high school students what they think about when they hear the words Red Ribbon Week. Staying away from drugs. Red ribbons displayed all over school making healthy choices for our future. That is true now, but do you know the history of Red Ribbon? In 1985, a DEA agent named Kiki Camarena was kidnapped, tortured, and killed in Mexico, working to prevent drug dealers from bringing drugs into the United States. After his funeral, his friends and family began wearing red ribbons as a way of showing their love of Kiki and their respect for his hard work to keep kids safe, healthy, and drug-free. That led to Red Ribbon campaign celebrations across the country and eventually a National Red Ribbon Week in 1988. Red Ribbon Week should be educational and fun, but we can't forget to take a moment to honor the memory of DEA agent Kiki Camarena and his family. Thank you, Agent Camarena. We appreciate you, Camarena family. Thanks for your sacrifice, Kiki Camarena. All right, so this week at Lebanon High School, some of the things we're going to be doing, number one, we got the ribbons again here, you see. Uh, I've got my ribbon on. If you want a ribbon, find me. I'll be in the cafeteria. I'll be in the grand staircase. You know I'm all over the place. Uh, after today, I'm going to have them on me. So uh, find me. Ask for one. I'll be happy to give you one. I do have a limited supply, so find me fast if you want one. Uh, we're also going to be doing a segment called uh, Drug Free Looks Like Me. That is this year's theme for Red Ribbon Week, the national theme. Uh, so kind of like our game day stuff where everybody says game day, I'd really like for everybody to participate and be on video saying drug free looks like me. Drug free looks like me. Drug free looks like me. Drug free looks, looks like, like me. me. Drug free looks like me. Some of our uh, Youth Prevention Coalition members here at Lebanon High School are going to have posters up uh, around the school that has their picture and drug free looks like me. So YPC is getting involved also. If you want to be involved in that, please get with me and let me know. And uh, there's also going to be facts about drug use, drug abuse, teen drug use, uh, and Red Ribbon Week uh, on the news, on the televisions in the school, uh, the announcements, all kinds of cool stuff coming. Uh, I can't wait for it. I hope you're excited. I'm excited too. Drug free? Looks like her. And him. Winter Guard information and tryouts will be Friday, October 29th from 345 to 545 in the band room. 
If you would like more information, see Mr. Chanel or Mr. Amos in the band room. The band is selling bunt cakes from Nothing Bunt Cakes. You can grab your favorite flavored bunt lamp for only $5 or grab one of each flavor and try them all. They have various flavors and the last day to order is November 4th. You can either find a marching band student to order or send Mr. Chanel an email with your order. Checks can be made out to Lebanon Band. Delivery is November 18th. Place your order now for the latest LHS camo t-shirts sold by our student council. They are $15 and sold at the bank until November 8th. They should be here by Thanksgiving break. Yearbooks and senior ads are on sale now. Yearbooks are $70 and senior ads come in different sizes. Go to yearbookforever.com to purchase. JROTC is hosting a trunk or tree on Saturday from 4 to 6 in the front parking lot. We have some other clubs joining us as well. If your club would like to join us in passing out candy, contact Mr. McCombs. All students that participate in this event get community service hours. The bowling team traveled to Hendersonville Strike and Spare to take on the commandos of Hendersonville High School. Coming off of their second loss, the Blue Devils were ready to get back into the game and show that they had learned from their mistakes. The Blue Devils defeated the Commandos 20-3. Their next match is Thursday at 3.30 at Hendersonville Strike and Spare against Station Camp. The hockey team won 11-0 against Smyrna. Ashton Perry received player of the game. Our 8-1 varsity football team travels to Warren County this Friday for their last game of the season. That's all the news we have, LHS. I'm Neely, and this has been the news to you from the white and blue.